Oh, shit. All right, guys, welcome back. I uh, just got these from Lazada, and there are adjustable RGB headers. I'm gonna try to plug them in on my motherboard. So obviously this isn't um, something that was made by a brand like Deep Cool or basically this is just a generic addressable RGB headers and what we're going to try to do is see if it works as they advertise it to be and if they are compatible with motherboards since I don't think they're really made for motherboards but um, they should work and I got these off Lazada again and they cost around um, 380 pesos which is about what do you call this eight dollars and let's see what's inside real quick all right so got them out and these what they look like all right that's uh, supposed to be one meters it's got 30 LEDs inside and the motherboard based on the manual says that I can put or plug in up to 60 LEDs in uh, one header just I only got one header uh, addressable header so these what they look like uh, I think these uh, are used to extend uh, the cables uh, if you want to plug in some more or whatnot but basically what you need is this um, and they don't plug into any part of the motherboard because there's no socket like that there um, this is the female part and this is the male end of uh, this cable of this LED strip all right so luckily Asus um, when I bought the Maximus X hero board they had these inside the extension cables and this is what they look like so that's what you plug into the female and this one plugs in directly to your motherboard and as you can see there's um, you want to make sure when you're gonna try this out too you have to make sure that you plug in the five volt data ground as it was on uh, the LED strip. Like, make sure that it would work. Because as you can see here, if it will just there. Okay, so there's basically three that's five volt data and then ground. So on the female end, you want to make sure that it's pretty easy because. The red one's data and the green one's uh, red one's five volt, green one's data and the white one's ground. So when you're gonna try to plug that in in there, you want to make sure that on the extension cable that Asus provided, the white line. Okay, so two blacks and then white at the end. The white one um, is actually the one for data or for five volt. So you plug that in and they're synchronized now. That's that's five volt data ground, five volt data ground. And then on the other end, you wanna make sure that you plug in correctly, five volt data ground directly to the motherboard. And they should work because I haven't tried them out. We're gonna try to see if it will work right now. All right, so what we're gonna try to do now is uh, turn on the computer because I just was able to plug that in at the back uh, uh, on the motherboard and let's see powering it on in three two one there it is wow this is way way better than the rgb the ones that you plug into the rgb header they're also 50-50, I just don't know the difference, but basically these are, when you try to search them online, they just you just have to look for addressable RGB header, uh, RGB LED strips. And I think they would come out, all of them would come out like this. Um, if you just use the 50-50s, um, well, <clears throat> th those are the 12 volt ones, those that you should plug into the 12 volt part of the motherboard they're not as good as these and I want to thank Lozada for this eight dollars and they're beautiful what we're gonna try to do right now is we're gonna try to plug in the other one because I bought two of these and these are 30 LEDs and as per ASUS's user manual of the Maximus X hero board 
they said that you could plug in up to 60 lights so i hope that works the way they say that it should so one sec let me try to plug the other one in all right i'm not gonna turn that off because i'm a bit lazy but where is that it's just supposed to plug in the red part too to the red part here let me get that right and ba boom all right and now connected so i got a total of two meters and 60 leds now that's christmas <laughs> that is awesome all right so that's a success uh we've got these plugged in on the motherboard directly directly okay and we're gonna be trying to play around with it with the R software and see what uh asus has come up with because really honestly i haven't seen anyone use them on what do you call this uh, on any site or, or any link i mean people keep talking about it on the reviews but no one actually did it the way I have, I think. Like these types of lights connected directly to the motherboard. Most of them, they kept talking about the LED strips that you could buy from partners like Deep Cool or Corsair or, you know, the likes. But me being that curious, I wanted to know what I could actually plug in to that header. So this is it. This is what we got. And hopefully you're gonna like this video, subscribe, and we're gonna try to come up with other stuff in the future. For now, we're gonna try to do the uh, Asus Aura software and see how these lights respond to them.